Hey guys, Aiden here, Biosport, back again with my longtime friend Paul Kenny, PGA Pro from uh, Stanford, uh, Rocker and Country Club. He's direction of instruction up there. Uh, we're here again, short game solutions, uh, super tight lie in front of the green, and the ball buried in front of the green. And Paul has got some uh, options for us here. So you would think that would be completely different shots. You know, a ball that's buried in deep rough or a ball on a super tight lie where there's really no grass to deal with. But the great news is I have a shot that can actually work for both. Mm -hmm. And a good friend of mine, James Ridyard, showed me this. And he calls it the T-Rex shot. The concept behind this, kind of a weird sound and drill, but a T-Rex meaning the dinosaur, is that when you set up to the shot, you're going to get what he calls T-Rex arms. So the arms are nice and close to the rib cage. You're going to unhinge the wrist. And then when you set up, you're going to be a little bit more bent over than normal. What that does is that gets the heel of the club, this part of the club, off of the ground. And just the toe is interacting with the ground. That's actually why it works on both scenarios. So when I'm in deep rough, instead of me trying to get the whole club through the rough, I only have to get the toe through the rough. It kind of acts like a rudder, it cuts right through the grass. A little less resistance in the club. Yes, a lot less resistance. Because the one that's so hard when it's buried is the short shot. Mm -hmm. So the problem I have, if I'm trying to get all of that through the grass on a short shot, I need a good amount of force to do that with, mm -hmm. well then the ball's gonna take off. Mm -hmm. So if I really reduce how much of the club has to cut through, mm -hmm. I can make a much softer swing. And the fact that I'm actually intentionally hitting it off the toe also deadens the shot, right. it becomes a miss hit. Mm -hmm. On the tight lie, the reason it works well is the bottom of the club is now interacting with the grass, not the leading edge. Mm -hmm. The leading edge is the killer in, in short, tight shots because the leading edge causes me to dig into the ground. So by raising the heel up, mm -hmm. addressing it off the toe and utilizing the bounce more, I'm able to hit those shots without digging in. Okay. Awesome. So let me demonstrate. Sure. So again, the setup looks a little bit funny but you're going to set up with the arms connected to the ribs. You're gonna unhinge your wrists. And then the only way you're gonna be able to get that club down to the ball is through bending over more. The shot itself is powered with the turn. So I'm simply turning back and turning through with my body. Heel of the club is up off the ground. So you see that comes off really dead. It's a hit off the toe, the ball comes out really dead and has very little roll to it. So it's a great shot, close to the green, probably 15 yards, 20 yards and in, whether buried or on those tight lies. Of the pin is cut pretty close to the edge of the green. Yeah, anything that deadens it, like hitting it off the toe, really helps that shot. Awesome. Hitting it off the sweet spot is very dangerous on those short, short shots, because the ball tends to jump. Nice. So using the toe intentionally can really change the way you approach those. Awesome. All right, good stuff. All right, guys, we'll be back soon with more tips. Thanks.